the Google approach, so now we've got the PyTorch or Torch approach to machine uh, learning. There's an update, I hope, from Junji on, uh, or Junji will tell me if I've got this wrong, on, on where, where we are with PassTorch. So. Which we had a little talk on this morning from Jesse, so uh, this, if you were here this morning, this, this should have been the background to Jesse's talk. But off you go, Junji. Thank you. Thank you for introducing me, Chema. Uh, I'm Junji Hashimoto, uh, doing uh, infrastructure, uh, infrastructure, uh, infrastructure engineer. Yeah. Uh, today I talk about uh, to effort about effort to release a new version of uh, machine learning framework, FastTorch. First of all, I would like to <coughs> thank contributor team uh, for development and management this project. I'm happy to join this project. Uh, today's outline, outline here. Uh, first, what is, what is hot storage? Second, uh, I'll show low-level low uh, architecture. Next, I'll show uh, high-level APIs. It is pure functions, and it provides machine learning model. And finally, I'll show example using a storage. So, uh, what is Hastoch? Hastoch is general machine learning framework. It is type safe, it is written in Haskell. It supports differential, differentiable programming uh, using PyTorch. We think uh, easy to use, it's important. So, uh, high level API is uh, pure functions. <coughs> PyTorch has thousands of functions. So the uh, API are changes every day. So <laughs> it is difficult to maintain. <coughs> and uh, it is uh, written in C++. So we decide to generate Haskell from PyTorch uh, spec automatically. So <coughs> in the next slide, I show what is generated and what is the problem. For the generate generate these three layers, uh, bottom is PyTorch's C++ APIs. Next layer supports low low point, not using garbage collection. Next layer supports managed pointer with garbage collection. And the next layer supports uh, high level API. It is pure functions. And the final layer is uh, support uh, static types, but, but it is under development. So, uh, how to mix it, how to connect C++? Yeah. Uh, we use inline C++, it uses template Haskell. Template Haskell generates Haskell code and C++ code at compilation time. So JC compile both code and run the code. Next, next is uh, how to connect C++ object. Uh, JC does not uh, doesn't handle C++ uh, object directly. So we have to use pointer. So uh, we use like this code. Uh, input is a source pointer. The next is the reference and some functions. And uh, to get low pointer, we call new function. Uh, in this work, uh, we, we improve 
inline C++ to support namespace and template format. Next is uh, how to manage memory. We use uh, GHC's garbage collection uh, with Holy Pointer, and we develop generic casts converting raw pointer to manage the pointer with garbage collection. The code is like this. But <coughs> GHC doesn't know the tensor's memory usage, so <laughs> we developed memory monitor and uh, catching memory exception mechanisms. <laughs> then these uh, call garbage collection. Uh, so uh, probably <coughs> you you may think it is okay to call new function every time. So yeah. in general, it is not so good, but. In, has, uh, in PyTorch, uh, tensors is just reference counter, so creating cost is low, so it's okay. Next, I'll show high level API and uh, machine learning model. Adam, Adam made a great contribution to develop high-level API. Uh, high-level API is uh, just pure functions like this. It, is, it does not use IO monad. Uh, we provide design pattern of machine learning too. Uh, it, it consists of three parts, spec, and, uh, spec, data model, and computational model. I'll show the details in next slide. Most high-level API are pure functions. The autograd is a pure function too, like this. If we go, we use until Papumayo. <coughs> Note that we have to use make independent function to allocate different memory for different variable. Otherwise, uh, if XI, uh, in, in, the, in this figure, uh, XI may be the same as YI. <coughs> if, uh, if, if these are the same, the result is different, uh, difference is wrong, so you have to call make independent to allocate different memory. Creating tensor is very easy, like this. Uh, this is a pure function too. Uh, creating list is easy too. And it supports uh, multi-dimensional tensor, like this. Next, I'll show implementation pattern of machine learning model. Model consists of three parts, spec, and data model, and computational model. Spec initializes data model, including dimensions and some functions. The data model is parameters for machine learning. And, uh, computational model calculates tensor values. The diagram is here. At first, spec initializes data model, computational model. <coughs> generate uh, tensors value by using data model. Then autograd calculate new parameters and update data model. Uh, not that. Uh, uh, if, we, if we use type of dimension, uh, we, think, uh, we think, uh spec is, uh, does not uh, not needed, maybe. The implementation <coughs> is here. Uh, top 
scope is uh, spec to class 5, a uh, class definition. Next is class, uh, next is spec. It includes input dimension and output dimension. Next is data model. It has weight and bias. And the last one is uh, initialize, the uh, spec initialize data model. The data model can serialize parameters. <coughs> the, the implementation is here. That's not here. The computational model with the pure function to so um, ma, ma, uh, it is multi. <laughs> matrix match brand at very simple. The training group is here at first uh, calculate uh, output and loss then <coughs> uh, data model serialize parameters then autograd generate new gradient and update uh, it updates new uh, data model like this finally I'll show examples using PyTorch at first uh, Gaussian process next is Picard network Gaussian process uh, predict curve by using training point at first calculate covariance matrix then <coughs> output uh, conditions and uh, posterior distribution and generate uh, the predict curve This is covariance matrix. Next, generate posterior distribution by this code. Finally, uh, it predict. Next, I'll show recurrent network the example. At first, uh, uh, at, at layer made a great contribution to implement this work. At first, define single cell like this, then follow the function, the normal function connect each cells just, just this. It's very simple. These are used here. Hastoch use PyTorch's uh, API functions. Uh, we <coughs> generate API, thousands of APIs automatically. And garbage collection manage memory of both CPU and GPU by memory monitor and uh, exception. High level API is pure functions and we provide machine learning model. Finally, I, uh, I show example of practical machine learning models, Gaussian process and recurrent network. Next step is here. We have to refine high-level interface, including type and dimensions. JC explores uh, broadcast operator and high-level LSTM with the function. I want to integrate 
this factor. Uh, next, we have to make more examples like MGIST. And uh, we, we have to implement optimizer except for HGD. And uh, last is <coughs> we plan to release second major version around quarter four in this year. Uh, this project is contributors. So, thank you for attention. I'm very fascinated by this memory management scheme you have. So, type torch itself is in C++, right? So when it runs out of memory, it will signal a segmentation fault, and then you catch that and run a garbage collection, and you restart it after the instruction that failed? Or what? If memory allocation is failed, yeah. <coughs> um, manage the layer, catch the exception, then decrypt, then it call garbage collection, then retry the operation. Okay, okay, so torch guarantees that out of memory conditions are handled gracefully. No, get no, an exception. Yeah, so, so to, to, torch just generates exception. Okay, yeah. Any other questions? I think the suggestion instead of a question. Uh, you have a lot of non Haskell dependencies in this project. Have you thought about using Nix to help manage those and also maybe help your users install this? Sorry. Nix package manager might be helpful for uh, managing a project like this yeah. because so many non Haskell dependencies. Yeah. <coughs> I think I think they have thought about it, but there's no one on the team that's okay. sufficiently Nix aware. They certainly help well, they're, they're aware, but yeah, it certainly would help you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you try some uh, multi threaded environment for? The calling those pure functions because uh, in uh, if you, you call in parallel a lot of pure functions, uh, how you will synchronize uh, the uh, unsafe part of that communication to to C++? This is great question. We don't we don't uh, try the situation. This is a problem. It, uh, mm. I have to try the station. Okay. Thank you. Right. Well, thanks very much. And, uh, yeah, for